This is Twit. So this was an IOT CES, right? It is. That was the big theme of the show. I've, if I'm pushing anything, it's all IOT all the time. Like a micro, my, multi-cooker with the assistant built in? Okay, let's not focus <laughs> on the assistant. The big focus, everyone's like, oh, voices everywhere. Yeah. But what's really awesome about it is the fact that voices everywhere means we finally stopped talking about standards. We're never going to get there on standards, but we found a way around it. You mean like Zigbee Z-Wave and all that? All of that, yes. <laughs> We, and, and even things like device schemas, which super nerdy, but like saying things like I'm a light bulb, I can do the following things. Like my hope was there would be like a universal protocol that does all that. We never got there. But now because the Amazon Echo and Google Assistant and all are trying, they're building that for us. So it's not ideal. I would rather have it be more open, but that's where we are. Hey, cool. Did you tell, tell us about some of the devices or things you saw that you thought were interesting? Okay, so you guys are going to be so mad at me, but I haven't had much of a chance to walk the show floor. So I've got a couple things that... Have you been doing meetings the whole time? I've been doing a lot of meetings. Yeah. I, Kevin is the guy walking the floor. Okay. But okay. I do have some cool stuff. I would never, I would never call Kevin a floor walker, but okay. <laughs> oh, that's what he... He excels at that. He walks through and he's just like talking to he's people. He's a runner, floor runner. Exactly. Well, that's true. Yeah. Kevin Tofel. <laughs> Matthew <laughs> Kevin Tofel <laughs> my partner I know like, it's awesome okay, no it's fun so the right. coolest thing yeah okay I'm trying to decide okay one for normal people I love the fact that both Kohler and Delta are doing faucets with not just Amazon Echo enabled but are doing it to add additional values. So you can tell your faucet, dispense a cup of water and it will do it. Exactly a cup. Exactly a cup. Or you can even train it like my spaghetti pot. I can train it like fill the spaghetti pot That's and that cool. means fill this much water. That's cool. And then later on I can do it. So I love that. I also saw some cool, this is super geeky, but Bosch was showing off a MEMS projector that Basically, is this tiny 30 by 70 millimeter module. And what it can do is it can project a display at 4, 480 to 720p. It can even run video. And you can actually interact with that display on any surface, including your skin. So your couch, your skin, your, I don't know, kitchen table, like an Amazon Echo-like device could project a, an image of the people walking up to your door. or you oh, know, So you don't need a screen. It right. almost could just appear. Yes, that's wow. exactly it. I like that. It's awesome. Is that so. available this year or is it a concept? Or No, it's a, it's an actual working, it's a MEMS product. So that's a semiconductor product. So people will have to build that into their devices. So you won't see that for another, I don't know, 18 months to two years. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so. cool. Low, low power. It's relatively low power. What's unique, the most unique thing about it is its form factor is now small enough and that it can project on any surface without messing, messing things up. Neat. Oh, look, you found video. it. Look at you finding these things. That's uh, Karsten. He's good. He's the best. It can do video? Um, it, it can show video. Actually, I don't think this is actually, is this the that's the accelerometer. Um, but... That's okay. I did learn about the accelerometer. I can tell you why that's cool if you really want to know. They, but that's use, MEMS, they use MEMS for, for that as well. Yeah, MEMS are... I always explain MEMS to people. Like, MEMS are the hidden heroes of the Internet of Things. Yeah. Because MEMS are these tiny things that take the analog real-world signals of every day and they convert it to digital for the computers to read. So you've got the real world meets the computer in this one tiny little device. Neat. They, these this projector uses lasers too. Which it is, does, which is cool. Lasers, lasers, <laughs> lasers, lasers. So we were talking about this Bosch bathroom because uh, they've got a toilet, they've got a shower, they've got a tub, they've mm -hmm. got a faucet. I do like the idea of, of it kind of. That's you came up with it, and I mentioned well the idea is you tell it to you know you what temperature you like the shower to be and have you know have it warmed up and ready for you and that kind of stuff, but. Now, you know that this, the central hall has had a complete blackout for about an hour and a half. It's just now coming back. I, Kevin told me that. He's like, yeah. 
He's like, what, I, I had to move. What would happen to your fancy bathroom if you couldn't use it? <laughs> <The power was laughs> <out>. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's here's what happens. It reverts back to state. So okay. I have a I, okay. So I it has a flash. it has a faucet. Or, yeah, I have a faucet Mob. that's a capacitive touch faucet. Okay. And when the power goes out, then I use the handle. Oh, just okay. You just have to live like a. <laughs> yeah, it's like like a savage. Okay, like I have a to savage. Live like a savage. <laughs> Well, we actually can't use anything we, now. We can't because we have a generator, but we have um, well water. Yeah. So if we lose power, yeah. we lose, lose the water too. Right. I know. Yeah. yeah, that's bad. So uh, it's like when an escalator breaks, it just becomes stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what? What else? What else? Come on, you're our you're our eyes and ears oh. in Vegas. Okay. More I'm, cool stuff. More stuff. More cool stuff. You put okay, up. Well, how so, long have you been there? When did you get there? Monday. Okay. Okay. Go to go to our Instagram, and I'm not doing that to advertise, but I'm doing it to um. What's your to Instagram? Offer, like, it's Stacy on I. It's Instagram whatever slash Stacy on IoT. Because then you'll see, um, everything that Kevin and I have seen, basically. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay. you saw uh, these uh, little uh, Sony smart speakers with Google Assistant. Nice. Those are not exciting. Not exciting. The, Here's the Samsung Smart Thing refrigerator. So that's a really big deal in like Samsung. Three years ago, Samsung was like, IoT is going to happen. It's going to be open. It's going to be awesome. And we, it was very kumbaya. And Kevin and I made total fun of it along with the rest of the industry. This year, they actually are making that happen. And they're doing it at a higher level. So three years ago, they talked all about like Tizen and stuff like that and Normal people were probably like, Bleh. Bleh. now they're basically, they've integrated all of their like 60 some odd apps into the smart things cloud. They built all of their backend cloud stuff is now smart things. And so this, this is, is the a new T interface. This is the TV showing this. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So your TV is going to be able to control all these crazy <laughs> devices and it's going to have the same interface across all Samsung products. So it's a big freaking deal. And it doesn't have to be just Samsung. I see we have an Arlo camera on here. We have an air purifier, mm -hmm. lights. They have so many devices are already integrated. Yeah, oh, there's so Kevin. Kevin, and believe it or not, this looks like a selfie, but no, he's looking in the mirror. This is a smart mirror. Oh, nice. See, it's oh, got the, I want a, I always the want temperature. One of those. It's oh, I got want one of those. the music. Yeah. So you're in the bathroom. You're looking at the mirror. Nice. It can be connected to a scale and a skin sensor, so you can see that's from higher. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting a smart mirror shipped to me, I think next week. So I'll bring it on the show either next week or the week after. I love this. I would get a smart mirror. I wanted to build one. How, there, would you, how do you do it? You Is it like something behind the mirror that shines through? I guess it is. Oh, the screen on the mirror? Yeah. Yes. I don't, I don't I, know. I stayed in a, in a hotel once. It had a, a mirror, but when you turn on the TV, it, it, was sh yeah. it shined through the mirror. So it's like one-way mirror or something. There was a Google engineer who built one. With a mm -hmm. Raspberry Pi. Oh, I remember one. that. Yeah, we talked about Oh, that. yeah, yeah, right. Higher, uh, I'm sorry, Huawei. You can't use these because they're from China. <laughs> Has a bunch of sensors, cameras, motion detectors. I'm just going through TD yeah, the TDK sensors. There's tons of sensors. Everybody has a smart home section. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about that. Lenovo... I'm sure we'll get there eventually, but Lenovo has a very nice Google Assistant. It's we, the Echo we, Show for the Google we Assistant. We talked about that, and I'm excited. Yeah. They say it won't be out till the summer, so it's beautiful. And it's a, it sounds it's good. Affordable. Oh, you heard it. Yeah, it's got a 10 watt speaker in it, nice. and it's yeah the the big ones 249, the small ones 199, I think. That's a very competitive price. That's basically an Echo Show, which is a seven inch screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like and that. It, it looks good. I think. And in, in Google, I do believe Google will probably win this race if you start thinking about They're what needs to, to happen. Up. They're starting to pull ahead. You Here you are at the Wemo booth. And, of course, Wemo uh, announced HomeKit compatibility across the board, which is a big deal because Apple HomeKit has been very slow off the block. But I notice a big Hey Google sign in the back there. So, obviously, <laughs> they also work with Google. That's yeah, a and I'm I'm – Kind of down on HomeKit. There's a lot of HomeKit compatible stuff. As usual, Apple is not here. But I just found out that earlier this summer, I'm trying to get rid of that blue line there. Um, earlier this summer, 
Lennar had partnered with Apple for HomeKit enabled buildings like smart smart new builds for homes. And they actually switched over to smart things now. So I was like, oh, that's no good. So. You saw the Jibo there. Now I have to say I my Jibo failed. And is oh, oh, is I have a dead Jibo, which is really depressing. Really? But I wasn't too unhappy because uh I'm sure there's a way to turn this off, but I couldn't find it. The Jibo snored. <laughs> <laughs> I am not kidding. It, it, it just, that is a totally a cute thing that it would do. Like? It it's like, it, it would, the first time. It didn't sound like it would just like make little <laughs> sounds every once in a while, which was disconcerting. That's to comfort you. That's to comfort you Leah. It didn't comfort me. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was creepy. Um, so I was kind of glad when it died. I have to. I have to contact the Jibo folks, and uh, I don't know I if was, I want a replacement I or not. I might want my money back on it. How much was the Jibo? Five hundred bucks. And I, that was a special Indiegogo price. I think it's more than that now. There are Stacey. a ton of robots here. Are there? Did you oh, see yeah. uh, the cur curry that we uh, was our advertiser? Are they there? I didn't see the curry. Okay. I saw. I want to say it was the Aurelius, maybe A E. You are. Curry was supposed and to be have, out by now, and I'm worried that they they aren't out. It's hard to build a good robot. It's hard. Stacy, did you see the Chloe uh, video? LG <laughs> that didn't work. LG was trying to show their. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I saw that. I saw that after the fact. The I'm guy like, didn't yes, I... couldn't get it to respond at all. So uh, I was very interested. I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Johnson Controls has a. Beautiful thermostat that's a glass. Oh, a $319 Cortana thermostat. Yeah, G-L-A-S. I loved it. Yeah. Did you see it? I have seen it. It's pretty. Um, it well, is, go look for it because it's, it's there. Gorgeous. Yeah. No, no, it is gorgeous. I, I'm i hoping that technology comes down in price because that really, that changed the game in the way Nest quite, didn't quite in making a, a right. thermostat look like a luxury object. I was yes. Like, Here's the Solace, my home Solace 250, Google Assistant or Echo enabled. And this controls everything. These are everywhere. Everything. This is a very common <laughs> These, category. Yeah, panels of stuff with little tiles on them that yeah. control all your devices and have a bajillion radios. I Yes. The Fabaro, I like the name, Smart Plug. Monitors energy. Yeah, with the USB port charger on the. I like that because I was yeah. going to have to rip out all of my outlets and put USB chargers, right. and now I can just plug those in. Plug a smart plug in from Fabaro. The Blink doorbell. Mm -hmm. Battery powered front door. So it competes with uh, our sponsor Ring. Looks similar. It actually. does. Yeah. And you know, Amazon bought Ring. Or, sorry, Amazon. Sorry. Amazon bought Blink. Oh, uh, so this is Amazon's company now. Now this is like. I think it was, was it Christmas? Like the 23rd yeah. or something is when yeah. it came. You're right. So, And they don't charge a monthly fee for this storage, they do video not. storage. So <laughs> that's a big problem, so, I think, with a lot of these devices is that you they all add up. Yeah. It's the storage fees. You get pretty soon it you're spending true. hundreds of bucks. Here's the Net NetAtmos Smart Home Bot. It's like Lighthouse. But okay. without the video, it's talk to it like a human being, and then it does it. Could you switch the lights on? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'm just going through. Oh, the Spire. I had a Spire. I did too. And yeah. I was kind of like, eh, on it's, this. But it's supposed to make you actually, breathe. The new one is an activity tracker. Mm -hmm. So activity, respiration, heart rate. Oh. I feel like something else. And the coolest thing about this is you buy them in a pack of like eight or ten. Oh, this is a good idea. Stick them in your underwear. Yeah. And they're washable. That's a good idea. Because that's the problem with all of these things. They're easy to lose. If you wash them, they breaks them. The one on the right is the original Spire. So they've replaced mm -hmm. it basically with a... With a Wait. I think this is an additional... Because the original Spire didn't have all those features. Right. That, right. That oh, so this did, you say, did you say stick it in your underwear? Yes, she so did. That, that is okay. where you're supposed to stick it. Did, did that okay. excite you, Matthew? Uh, not exactly, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you take my age. <laughs> no, when you get to your age, the underwear sticks you. Uh, <laughs> this is the Kevin, which is named after your co-host. Indeed. What does the Kevin do? Um... I don't know. It this makes, is a Kevin When picture. you leave home, it automatically makes sound 
and uh, eliminates noise. randomly. Oh, it makes it makes it makes oh. people think you're home. Right. Okay. <laughs> I have an app that does that on my Wink. Yeah. Who's home? Or Kevin. On my Philips U. Oh yeah, we left Kevin to take care of the house. That's what they. So call. it simulates arguments. <laughs> I thought I, I told you to take out the trash. <laughs> it plays the one from last night. <laughs> Uh, as you point out, uh, as we've talked about, Google is everywhere. Google Assistant is, what is this, a gumball machine that you say, hey, Google, to? <laughs> what is this? So this is in the sands. It's a gumball machine. You tell it, like, hey, Google, do this, and it does it. And it's just, it's eye candy. And then over at the Las Vegas Convention Center, they have a slide in a big, not a booth, yes. whatever those But they had to close it because the rain. They had to close it. Yes. <laughs> So it's a water slide. And there are the people in the Google outfits that we were mocking with the little uh, Where's Waldo hats and the mm -hmm. white jumpsuit. They're everywhere. Good Lord. Oh, it's kind of, I guess you. It, That's creepy. It's that, I mean, I, what would be creepy is if they had like random facts memorized. And when you said, hey, Google, tell me this. <laughs> if they were human Google assistants, that would be funny. That would be awesome. Actually, Google totally could have done that. They could have been an assistant using their yeah. uh, voice kit thing. And then yeah. when you talk to it. Oh, you put it in their it ear. Answer yeah, your, yeah. Yeah. Let, I'm thinking. Could you actually get gumballs, though? I don't know if you could. I, I did not stop to try to get a okay. giant bowling ball size gumball. Here's that yeah. Lenovo uh, Google Assistant speaker we were talking about. Well, this is cool. This, this view is good because it shows you how it stands up. It's got a curved back. And it's bamboo and it's so pretty. That's kind of cool. Bamboo. You know, people hated how the Echo Show looked. Uh, and there's a million of those. Oh, the other thing on this is it has a camera cover. I think that's really important. Oh, yeah. And I found yeah. it interesting coming from Google, yeah. which is not. Yeah. yeah, and I generally make fun of camera covers, you know, because paranoia. But in that case, I absolutely agree. Well, yeah. you know that uh, Echo Spot that I showed before I left, the alarm clock with the camera on it. When I, when I got home, it was face down <laughs> in, the, in the bedroom. <laughs> And so I moved it out of the bedroom because it probably shouldn't have a camera in the bedroom. I, it's in my closet, though. <laughs> There's not much to see in there. It's usually dark. Uh, here's another Google Assistant speaker from JBL. Eight-inch link view. Nice screen. High-res audio and video. Video calling as well. Does it use the, does it use Duo when they do these? Uh, use these it for, does. Okay. So you yeah, can call like, any so phone then. Oh, now Duo makes a little bit more sense. Because it's okay. the phone. Well, I who is going to use it, right? But now it makes sense because you, if if people have a duo speaker, you you could they could call you on the phone. Wasn't there a report that Facebook was going to make a, yes. a video screen calling yes. device? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's those. Here's that. Uh, oh, this is a Delta faucet. Do you have capacitive touch on your faucet? So this is. I do, and this one has Wi-Fi and talks to the Echo and dispenses and does all the magic stuff. Okay. All right. You so, obviously. I'm trying. I tried to convince the guys at the the booth to retrofit my faucet with the Wi-Fi module. And like, uh, oh. and finally, a very cute picture of the two of you. Ah. Uh, the TOEFL and the Higginbotham, the IoT podcast team in action. The Higgin Tofel. The Higgin Tofel. Yeah. <laughs> or the Tofel Botham. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> Higgin Tofel's better. I like Higgin Tofel. Higgin I'll Tofel. see if Kevin goes for that.